Why do you think we have these little bins around the place, Salter? To keep the place neat and tidy so people don't think we're all yobs. Now pick it up. You know, if I'd have had my way, you would never have been allowed back in this gym. Everything all right? Just warning your friend here as to his future conduct. I've already spoken to Gary. He knows the score. Now, why don't we just leave it at that, eh? I'd appreciate it, Salter, if you told your mother that she's not welcome down here. Hey, now, just a minute. Mick, this project is for teenagers. Now, if Salter's mother thinks she can wander in and out of here at will, then other parents might get the same idea. We don't want the place overrun by people like her, now, do we? Leave me man out of this Hey, hey, hey. Save your fisticuffs for the ring. Now, you just carry on training, Gary. Me and Mr. Weeks here need to have a little word. A hooligan! What? You've got no right insulting his mother like that. She's a perfectly decent woman. And stop picking on him, will you? He's done nothing wrong. Not a very good judge of character, are you, Meek? Meaning what? All this other nonsense we're involved in. You know, you get hold of the wrong end of the stick. I've got hold of the wrong end of the stick. It's perfectly clear to me what's wrong. Oh, there you go again, you see. What lies has Marianne been spoon-feeding you this time? Well, she's got what she wanted, hasn't she? The offer of a few quid for nothing. You'd think she'd be happy. Happy? Having to put up with you, hassling her for months on end, and you expect her to be happy. Oh, she wants more, does she? I should have realised from day one, your woman won't be happy till she's got my job. Vicious little dogs. Nice one, me. I'll have you. You saw that, didn't you, Gary? Let's see how your precious girlfriend feels about you when the police come knocking at your door.